Hi, Clara here. Super happy to see you guys on Sundays. Today we are going to tell some tips to start up our laser machines after a long holiday, like Christmas, Chinese New Year. We'll give appropriate suggestions based on the safety and the sustainability of machinery use. If you have other ideas, please leave a message below and we'll discuss it together. If you are first time being here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you. Enable the laser machines to resume work quickly and smoothly after a long vacation. We can take the following tips. First, safety matters. Before operators start the inspection, it's necessary to ensure that the power supply of the entire machine is disconnected. All external water lines of the chiller are closed. Second, external maintenance. We need to make sure the power line has no obvious bends, damage, or disconnection. Plugs are firmly connected. The signal wear interface is firm and not loose. Check whether the gas hose is not damaged or blocked and the seal is good. The water cooling pipes are not damaged or clogged and are well sealed. The pep joints are firmly connected and smooth. If the ambient temperature is too low during the inspection, such as zero Celsius, heating measures need to be taken to ensure that there will be no ash in the pipes. Third, water chiller. It should be noted that if the laser equipment is left at all for a long time in an environment below zero Celsius, it's necessary to carefully check whether the cooling water pipe has frozen or if there have been traces of freezing in the past. If there's icing, it's best to contact the supplier immediately to provide a more comprehensive inspection to avoid greater losses due to misoperation. If the above checks are good, we can add pure water into the water cooler and let it do nothing for 30 minutes to check if there's any water leakage. If the temperature is lower than 5 Celsius, Antifreeze needs to be added according to the correct method. After 30 minutes and no leakage, turn on the power of the water cooler and keep other equipment powered off. Open the water inlay and outlay valves of the chiller a little rather than open the valve completely. After the water cycle starts, no actions for 30 minutes Observe whether the water level changes and make sure there's no leakage in the internal water pipes. If there's no problem with the above, the water cooler can operate normally and wait for the water temperature to reach the specified range. Fourth, optical checks. After the temperature of the water cooler reaches the set value, we can turn on the power of the laser equipment. Observe whether each indicator light is normal and whether the alarm is generated. Please do not perform laser emission or even cutting or other operations immediately. We need to check red light, see whether the lenses are clean and the center thing. If you are not sure about the steps to check lenses and nozzle, please check my previous videos on lenses and nozzle. After above all checks done, if everything is good now, I think the machine can work. That's all our today hoping is also useful for you. Leave your comments below if any questions you want to know. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.